Puerto Rico is a bit of an anomaly. Officially, it's the Associated Free State of Puerto Rico, technically an unincorporated territory of the United States. What that means for the Caribbean island, or little group of islands, is that it's part of the United States, but it isn't a state. It's three and a half million people are US citizens and can be drafted, but they don't have a representative in Congress. They can vote in primaries, but not in presidential elections. A bit of an American halfway house. Oh, and the other thing is most Puerto Ricans don't live in Puerto Rico anymore. They live on the US mainland, usually in Florida, where they are allowed to vote for a president. And the president, Barack Obama, is about to go to Puerto Rico. He'll be the first US president to go there officially since JFK paid a visit back in 1961. Angel Rosa is a professor of political science at the University of Puerto Rico. He also uh, He's also a radio talk show host with the Univision Radio Network. What does he think his fellow Puerto Ricans are making of this, the first presidential visit in half a century? JFK came to the island exactly 50 years ago tomorrow. Obama picked the same date to come to Puerto Rico. And there's a lot of curiosity here on, on Puerto Rico's part to see what it looked like to have a, an American president here in the island. Half a century is a long time to wait, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of time for American citizens to wait for the president to come down. And there's some curiosity, but Puerto Ricans are actually not expecting big announcements on any issue. Actually, Puerto Ricans are much more worried about the, the economy on the island. They would want President Obama to speak about jobs. That is probably the most important issue here, as well as in the mainland. Bread and butter issues rather than the Constitution. And yet, yeah. President Obama, when he was on the, the campaign trail, came to Puerto Rico and said he would sort out uh, Puerto Rico's status, didn't he? In his, in his first term. So as a result of that, he appointed a task force which actually presented him a report last March. And in that report, they called for holding two plebiscites this year. Uh, one would ask Puerto Ricans whether they would like to continue being part of the U.S. or not. And in the second round, that question would, would be probably narrowed. If Puerto Ricans pick to keep uh, any relationship with the U.S., they would have to choose between present Commonwealth status and statehood. If not, they will have to choose between full independence or what is called free association. So how do you think Puerto Ricans feel about that at the moment? Most of the people here, and I think it's probably more than 90% Puerto Ricans, would like to keep the relationship with the U.S., whether it is continue the Commonwealth status enhanced in any way in terms of more powers for uh, the Puerto Rican government or becoming a state of the union. How does that split between just staying as you are and, and becoming a fully-fledged state of the union? And presumably that means altering the U.S. flag and squeezing an extra star on and all that kind of thing. Enhancement of Commonwealth status would mean more powers in terms of economic capabilities for the island to attract international business and create jobs to the island. But let me tell you that we have held three plebiscites in Puerto Rico before, one in 1967, one in 1993, and one in 1998. And Commonwealth status won all three of them. So is this visit by President Obama then more to do with the Puerto Ricans who live in the United States than it is to do with the Puerto Ricans who actually live in Puerto Rico? It actually has to do with his chance for re-election in the uh, Latino community in the U.S. For example, Florida, which is the fourth largest state in terms of electoral college votes, which in fact elect the president in the U.S., has now more than 848,000 Puerto Ricans living in between the Orlando and Tampa Bay area. And those Puerto Ricans behave like swinging Democrats. Most of them are first-generation immigrants who care deeply about the island problems since their relatives are still living here. And uh, Obama actually comes from Florida tomorrow. He will be campaigning in Florida. He will participate in two fundraising activities there. And then he will come down to the island at midday and will actually concentrate on raising funds for his campaign here in the island too. So it, there's no doubt in my mind that this visit is mostly aimed at those Puerto Ricans in the mainland, especially in Florida. That's Professor Angel Rosa from the University of Puerto Rico.